Okay, so what we're gonna be making today are totem spoons. So I'm just gonna show you a couple of examples. Okay, here are two examples. So this one right here is kind of a bad glazing example, but it's got a good form. As you can see, there's various elements on the spoon. Okay, and then this one, this one's a great glazing example. This one, spoon, it's got the sunflower element, a heart, and some baseballs. So as you can see, you want at least three things on your totem spoon. You can put more if you want, but really you just need three. Three elements that defined you for your totem. Okay, so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some clay. Okay, and then I also have some tools I've got a modeling tool, I have a sponge, I've got a ribbon tool, okay, and then you can also use a needle tool. So if you don't have these items at your house, it's totally fine. Um, you can actually use, um, let's say, a bobby pin for your needle tool. I always like to use my fingers, especially this part. If you have nails, it's going to be a little bit trickier. And then the ribbon tool, okay? But that's going to be a little bit more difficult. You could probably use string to substitute. Um, but for this, you may or may not use it. So what you're first going to start doing is forming the actual shape of your spoon. Now I have a spoon that's already made without the elements, okay? So you just want the basic shape of the spoon, okay? Now you wanna make sure that this area isn't too thick or thin, okay? This is really important because if it's too thick, then you could have an issue in the kiln or if it's too thin, it could break. So you gotta be really careful. Okay, so what we're first gonna start doing is with our clay, to make our spoon, we're gonna kinda roll it with our hands. We're gonna create like a thick coil. Okay, so what I'm doing on one side is I am kinda making this a little bit more like the handle of the spoon, and then this is gonna be the thicker part where it's the actual more of the utensil. So go ahead and kinda create your coil and then once you have it at a distance that you like or a size that you like, you're going to flatten this part with your thumb. Okay, see how I just did that? So I'm getting the basic shape of my spoon. Once you have that done, you're going to smooth it with your fingers. Now with this project, you could keep it kind of round um, or you can make it very rectangular. So what I want to do is I'm going to make mine very geometric or rectangular. Okay, and then this part, I'm going to make it very round. Okay, one thing that you want to make sure is that this part is even in here. This is what's going to make your spoon look really, really nice. Okay, and what I'm doing is I'm kind of gauging the size with both fingers. See how I'm doing that? That's what you wanna do. Okay, so you're smoothing and making your spoon nice and even. Okay, and I wanna do it on all sides. Taking my fingers, smoothing it as I go. Now, if you have nails, this is the part where this tool is going to come in handy, your modeling tool. Okay, you're going to actually use it by like kind of scooping and smoothing. Okay, I personally like to use my fingers. Okay, I usually don't have long nails. So if you do happen to have long nails, those tools are really beneficial. Okay, and then there's my spoon, okay? Depending, you may want it to be shorter or longer. For me, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make mine shorter. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this piece off. 
making it nice and straight. I'm just using my fingers to kind of shape it. Okay, so from there, you want to come up with your three elements. So, let's say you want to make a flower. One thing that I would do, because I love plants, is I'm going to make a little rose. So to start that, I'm going to press the ends of my petals. Okay, and then I'm going to wrap. Something like that. Okay, and I'm going to make more petals. So I'm going to flatten the edges. And then kind of wrap it. Okay, and you're going to keep doing that until you're happy with it. See how it's coming together? Okay, and then what I do is I pinch it at the bottom. See, I pinch it with my fingers. Okay, and I'll keep adding more. Okay, I have one end that's pretty thin, and the other thin where I attach it at the bottom that's thicker. And then what I start doing is I start making it a little bit bigger. Okay, once I pinch, you may want to take some excess clay off from the, the end. Okay, and then I'm going to do one more petal. Okay. So there's my flower that I have. Okay, so whenever you're attaching, you're either going to use your needle tool, or if you don't have a needle tool, you can use like a bobby pin or even a knife. And then what you're going to do is you're going to score. Okay, and for me, I'm going to put it at the end. So I'm going to score just like that. I'm going to score both pieces. Okay, and then I want to use some slip. And slip is basically clay and water. So I'm going to take, if you don't have slip already, I'm going to take some clay, just a little bit, or you can make more if you need it. And then I'm going to put it in a container and then put some water. Sometimes I like to put a little bit of vinegar in it. Uh, that really breaks it down much faster. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in a bowl. Okay, and then I like to put vinegar in it. Okay, and that's gonna break it down. Okay, you can also just use water and just let it sit for a little while. Okay, okay, let's say for my next element, I wanna make a palette. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just roll a ball in my hands and then flatten. Okay, and then from there, what you can do is you can actually shape it with your fingers or you can cut it. So in this case, I'm going to just kind of cut it. And when I paint it, I can put a bunch of different um, splatters on it. Okay, and this is my second element. Okay, and then my third element. I'm 
you can really make anything you want. Um, for this one, I'm going to make a YouTube symbol since I'm doing a YouTube video right now. So what I'm doing is I'm rolling it in my hands. Okay, and then you can flatten it. Okay, and then you can either cut or shape. Kind of shaping it a little bit. And then I'm gonna cut it. Okay, and I'm just smoothing out the edges. Okay, so basically I'm gonna have the logo, so I'm just gonna have like a little square. And then I'm gonna paint the design or the YouTube logo on there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna slip all my elements on there. So I'm gonna score, again, scratch the surface of where you're attaching, and then see how I've got some vinegar in here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this mushy clay, okay, and then just kind of put it on there. Ideally, it would be a little bit softer, but, okay, and then it's pretty delicate, at least the flower, but you wanna be able to push it down and then smooth where necessary. Okay, but you want to see if you can kind of pull it or tug it so that it doesn't come off. I'm going to do the same thing with my little logo. Scratching. Using the slip. Pressing down a little bit. And then thermite for my third element. Scratching. And then using the slip. Okay, and then you just kind of do like a final run through. So what I do is I take a look at my, my elements. Okay, make sure that I have it nice and even, okay? And then if I have any scratch or score marks that I can c correct those. So I'll either use my finger, a modeling tool, or in this case, um, it'd probably be beneficial to use like a Q-tip, okay? So there you are, there's my totem spoon.